line. As we've seen it, I've seen a line, an angel standing and holding a large line of the blood. It was called the bloodline. All around the church, all around the people. And at times when we plead the blood, I actually see a shield of red come down over that person. And they begin to get healed. They begin to get delivered. And if there's a cancer in their body, sometimes God lets me see it. The red goes on the dark spot and burns out the cancer. Now, I promised you we'd find out about heaven. So yes. for 30 nights she went to hell, but the next 10 nights she went to heaven. I have to ask you a question. Okay. Uh, do young people stay young like little infants when they get to heaven, or do they grow up? They grow up. Give me an example. Okay. Well, uh, children grow up in heaven to the age of maturity. They're called the in innocent, okay? And the other scripture would see it is when uh, suffer the little children to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of God. And they go to school in heaven. They're taught by the redeemed and they're taught by Did angels. Did you see any children in heaven? Oh, yeah. That I saw families. Knew, that you knew? No, I didn't know them, but I saw many children. Okay. What about. Uh, Adults do they, they are say ninety when they die and go to heaven. Do they are they kind of decrepit? Are they walking oh, no. around with canes? Oh or? no! See, God gives them a glorified body, a brand new body, and they usually look about thirty three years old. If they die a hundred, when the angels get done with them and take them before God, they're they 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 look thirty three years old. What was the music like at heaven? Uh, it was different praises, different types of uh, levels of music. There was uh, a piano 40 feet across. There was a, a trumpet 35 feet long. And different types, different uh, types of music now. Like we had the Italian band in the Bible. They actually, I saw a, a, a people dancing and spinning to the, uh, the sound like Italian music. There was Jewish music, too, in heaven, all kinds of music. Really? Yes. Okay, and when, well, uh, 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 let me ask you this. Yeah. You saw and vision, and where you, when you went to heaven, these books yes. that were accumulated in this golden room. Tell yes. me about that. Well, okay, there's archives in heaven, rooms that, uh, of books. Okay, the first, I've seen several rooms, but one room in particular I feel like Sharon was where God has books he wants to bring down and give people to write books from heaven hmm. yes he wants to give them revelation knowledge and then there was other books of prophecies there was books well, of that reminds prayer me of someone i interviewed that heard songs in heaven and then many years later heard those same songs being released for the first time on earth yes so you're saying that with books it's the same way they're books yes. to be released from heaven uh, yes and there's also anointing oils to be released what does that mean uh, no, is there's like vials of oil up there in a certain for room. healing and miracles it's for yeah and certain ministers too god will send the angels to anoint us more sometimes but you were telling me in some of these books they had records of the prayers. Yes, and, and prophecies. And also there was a group of angels that God sends, and he calls them the Northern Army. And see, they're very big, big angels, 30 foot high. They have huge wings. They have a face like you wouldn't believe of determination. And they have a sword on their side bigger than a man with flames comes out of it. Their stallions that they're on are so high and four foot across in the back. When the prayers of the saints come up to God, and they come in, the, they go to the record room, then they come before the throne. The Lord opens up the prayer book, and smoke comes out of it, and perfume. And the Lord speaks, and His voice is like many waters. He tells them, go to earth and answer her prayers. Go to earth and answer her prayer. And when the book is open, the pages come out and go in the writer's hands. And they gallop to earth to answer our prayers. They do warfare for us. You, you know... I wish I had seen heaven while I'm oh, still I here. I love heaven. And I don't want to see hell ever, <laughs> but in a way I almost feel I want to because I want to have that same compassion you have. When you see someone that rejects Jesus, uh, mm -hmm. w what do you feel? It hurts, uh, but most, I will tell you the truth, Sid, most places I go, everywhere I go, they... They hear the story and they want to be saved. They want Christ in their heart. And once you get to talk to really talk, their little hearts just melt. Because they really don't, don't want to go to this place. So I rarely meet anybody that doesn't want to be saved. Rare. What about you? The Jewish prophet Daniel says in the 12th chapter of the book of Daniel, 
those that are buried in the dust, some shall rise to everlasting life. Mary Catherine, that's the heaven. Right. <laughs> that is that's heaven. heaven. Everlasting yes. means no chance of reversal. Some right. shall rise to everlasting life and some to everlasting condemnation. Yes. So in effect, once someone dies, they can't change their mind because of that word everlasting that is there. So some people say, oh, this earth right here, this is hell. No. If you think this were earth is hell compared to hell, this earth is heaven. Would you agree, Mary Catherine? I agree. So yes. choose, because you don't know when your end's going to come. Choose right now. Everlasting life or everlasting condemnation. Heaven or hell. Life with God, life separated from God forever. The only chance of reversal is now. Why do I say now? Because you don't know how long you're going to live. Choose life. Why will you die, O house of Israel? Believe that Jesus died in your place for your sins. Ask him to forgive you and then make him your Lord by saying, Jesus, I make you my Lord. Or Jesus, help. That'll do. Mary Kay Baxter had an encounter with Jesus the Messiah. He told her, the things you are about to see are a warning. The book you write will save many souls from hell. Call now and receive your copy of Mary Kay Baxter's book, A Divine Revelation of Hell. For a donation of $18, shipping is included. Ask for offer number 1051. This book documents Mary's journey with Jesus as he took her for 30 nights to witness the horror and torment of hell. Then he took her for 10 nights to experience the glory and majesty of heaven. Jesus said he wanted to give her a revelation to prepare the world for his return and to turn many to righteousness. This book will show you how to cause the evil forces to lose ground, how to destroy their hold over you and others, how to break off evil spells. You will learn what will happen on earth during the great tribulation, how to share the reality of hell and the glory of heaven with your family and friends, and so much more. Jesus had Mary Baxter write this book so that the whole world would know that hell is real and how you can avoid ever going there. Don't miss out on getting your copy of Mary Kay Baxter's book, A Divine Revelation of Hell. For a donation of $18, shipping is included. Ask for offer number 1051, or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 1051, or log on to SidRoth.org. This book contains God's warning and call to salvation. Time is running out. Call now or write today. If you're encouraged and helped by these television programs, please consider assisting us with future productions. Send your tax-deductible gift to Sid Roth, Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia, 31521. Call toll-free at 1-800-548-1918.